All right, let's keep exploring this new area. I'm kind of curious what other powers you can get at this point because we already have the space jump. <laughs> Anyways, as I was on break, I got a notification from Discord, or not Discord, from a uh, Twitch, that said that if you subscribe if, uh, at any point from now until the 31st, then you get three months of Discord Nitro. <laughs> so, you know, if you really want Discord Nitro, now's the time to do it. <laughs> Also, uh, Misty Dead, thanks for following. Hmm, I should go check that, actually. That's an actual, like, scan. SPCF Mac. The campsite's done for. Blaine as well. We ran for the elevator when a jellyfish Metroid got the drop on him. That idiot shoved a demolition bomb in its mouth. Next thing I know, knocked off my feet. Elevator is covered in rubble, and the Metroid casually floats off. Damn it, Blaine. Our tech doesn't work like Aaron's. But I didn't let it leave my but I didn't let it leave my sight. Trailed it till it laid down and changed color. It's payback time. <laughs> well Good job, buddy. Okay. What are these? They just kind of slow me down a bit. Acid really doesn't do a ton of damage in this game, so I really don't mind just tanking it a bit. <laughs> that was, what, 11 damage? Yeah, there's only two Metroids here, too. Oh, okay, well. Nothing down here, apparently. Gave the original Metroid 2 soundtrack a listen last night as well. Comparing, I was comparing the AM2R, Samus Returns, and Metroid 2 soundtracks. And, like, Metroid 2 sounds kind of bad. But, like, in a really impressive way. Like, really ambitious for the Game Boy. <laughs> like, they're going for, like, atmospheric sounds with a very, very limited sound set. Oh god, oh no, this is gonna be rough. Hey, Bodo555, how's it going? This game, if I remember right, this game exited. Exit? Do you mean existed? For like a week in, until Nintendo announced the 3DS remake. Um, yeah, uh, Nintendo took this game down almost immediately. And then people were, were like, but why? And then they announced their own remake. Which, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a music guy, so. When I looked at the 3DS version of the Arachn Arachnus fight, and it didn't have the remix of the Arachnus theme from Metroid Fusion, I just kind of checked out, because that's kind of the worst. Why would you not remix music? Why do you hate music? It's, so, it's, like it's such a, a nondescript theme, too. It's not even like they came up with some cool new theme for Arachnus. Alright, let's get another cave-in. 
They're getting more and more frequent. Almost like these story sequence <laughs> sections are getting smaller. Yeah, Nintendo tried to take AM2R down. Didn't really work. AM2R is still a category on Twitch. I wonder if that other drilling machine is anything. I should give it a look. Oops. Fuck your gimmick. Yeah, okay, I can't even get in this one. Reminds you how the Type Zero fan translation existed for like eight hours before Square announced its own official translation. Yeah, and that official translation of Type Zero is like one of the worst localization jobs Square Enix has done. Like, it's like the voice acting is like shockingly poorly directed. And like, something I noticed playing Opera Omnia, because Opera Omnia is like a, a lot closer to a transliteration. Uh, the characters from Type Zero act sometimes substantially differently because I guess they just didn't really do it properly with Type Zero. I don't know exactly. PS1 bad? Uh, kinda actually. Uh, it's, it's honestly, it's very PS2, honestly. But, like, it's not, like, it's definitely worse than, like, Final Fantasy X, for example. Because, like, Final Fantasy X is usually fairly well directed. It, it just has limitations that came from how they handle cutscenes back then. But Type Zero is it just, like, clearly they didn't care very much. Because, like, apparently the voice cast for the Japanese version of Type Zero is star studded. Like, it's apparently, like, they put a lot into it. But you get to Type Zero HD and where they have an English dub, and it's just. It's like one of those dubs where it seems like they weren't given really much context on what they're actually saying. Whoops, damn it. But yeah. Wait, I should be going lower, shouldn't I? Is there another... Do I have to go left now for more lava? Type Zero's official look feels like it fell out of the late SNES era. Yeah, although honestly, it's not as charming as the thing. Old SNES translations, especially the Squaresoft ones, have like their own unique kind of charm to them, where they'll like have like goofy references and like they'll have drastic name changes, but they get do, they get the spirit across. But then, yeah, I don't know. Like the it's just kind of strange how they handled things with a lot of stuff in Type Zero. I actually do like Type Zero a fair amount. It's not a, it's not a, it's got a lot of flaws. It's got a very weird structure, but I love when Final Fantasy gets weird with its structure. Oh God, what is this? Buzzsaw plants, hold on. Oh, wait. Kendrick, have you been here this whole time? Did I say hello to you? Hold on. Yes, okay, you've been here a lot. Sorry, I'm not good with names. <laughs> zero context, zero direction, and only one take. That is basically how it feels. And just like... So, I don't know. I don't know if you, how many people even remember this, but do you remember uh, old Nintendo localizations? You said hello a long while ago? I... I, I sure did. <laughs> I always I always worry about like just starting to talk to someone. I, I I guess it's like my own personal standards for etiquette, but like I feel bad if I don't say hi to people, and I'm always I always forget if I did. <laughs> um. But yeah, so with Nintendo localizations back in the day, before they got their shit together a little bit. They would have like, like for example, Triforce Heroes, the English version, the, the North American English version specifically, has like a Doge reference, which is really strange and d just doesn't feel very good. Like the writing just 
feels awkward because they try and like force Doge references in. And like I feel like Type Zero kind of has a bit of that energy of like it, it it feels like those like kinds of things where the translators were trying to like add their own spin to it and they really shouldn't have. Especially because Type Zero is a very dark, serious game. It's not Final Fantasy 16 dark, but it is like the the first M rated Final Fantasy. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to actually go back to it to like get more specific examples, but in general, I I was not impressed by the localization. <laughs> Also, fun fact for people who uh, love or hate pronouns, uh, Type Zero's localization is, I think, the only time I've ever seen Neo pronouns in a game. Uh, they have the Moogles in that game go by Z and Her, as in H I R. That's just kind of a neutral fun fact. <laughs> Yeah, like, I never I never see those pronouns anymore, I feel. Like, I used to see that a lot. I guess back when Tumblr was more of a thing. Hmm. Where could it be? Maybe the acid will drain. Oops, damn it, I keep doing that. I'm so used to pressing B to turn the missiles off, but it goes to super missiles now. Hmm. Oh well. What happened to Nintendo translations? Uh, they just didn't have a good team working on it, honestly. Like, it, it sucks that, like, for example, discourse about... Uh, Final Fantasy, or Final Fantasy, Fire Emblem Fates localization is so warped and distorted and bad, and like, that's like basically patient zero for terrible modern localization discourse. But that, that has some like really meaningfully lost content because of the localization. And the, the funny thing is, apparently, even in Japanese, the script's not very good. But like, so like, the thing that got me that I heard about is that, uh, in. Bates, there's a thing of like, uh, Corin uh, can go with either family. He was taken by the like European style family, and he was an, an originally with like a Japanese style family, but he was stolen away as a child. So he has this like mix of, of values. And so there's this interesting like side thing where Corin questions like the validity of the. Uh, Hoshidan religion because he didn't grow up with it and everyone on his family just kind of takes it for granted and I saw a bunch of examples of how they just cut out the line where he questions the religion and just keeps the, like the like normal dialogue and that's just that's kind of tacky I think and just very old school Nintendo to like remove that like that is almost as close as like we can't have a cross on this person's shield that's religious Still see Neo pronouns once in a while, but I feel like they them took over. They them is easier, honestly. It's it's a lot easier to understand, so I get it. I never really got like the Neo pronouns, but like I don't know, whatever makes someone happy. Like it really doesn't matter what people go by. Man, there's a lot of these things. I assume I gotta like aim up and get a missile in the mouth or something. kids asked nintendo is honestly like the the living legacy of four kids they still do four kids style stuff like the even like they are like one of the biggest mass changers of localization to this day like zelda and mario games get really drastic changes sometimes although the good thing about that is that that means i can steal the 
uh, Mario Galaxy named for Melty Molten Galaxy, which in Japanese is called Hell Prominence Galaxy. And I can just use that, because they didn't. They, they left that on the floor. They're like, nah, we don't need Hell Prominence Galaxy. Okay, there's probably definitely a Metroid up there, and I don't know what my health level right now. It's like half, so it's probably fine, but like... Man, how do you beat these things? There we go. Oh. I have pretty much exclusively wasted super missiles. I have n barely used them for anything practical. Oh, thank goodness. Foolish, it was a cool name. Yeah. It's like, oh, we can't mention hell in Mario. Ugh. Grow up. <laughs> Nintendo making Link's quest log not written in first person for Breath of the Wild to weird change. Yeah, like that's the thing, like there, there's a lot of like weird big and small changes like that. Cause like also, uh, you know that like speech Zelda gives in Breath of the Wild that people use to like connect it to certain timelines and stuff. Um, in the Japanese version, she references a lot more games apparently. Like it makes it a lot more clear that it's meant to just be like a sort of anniversary celebration thing. Like we just go through all the Zeldas versus in English apparently it's narrowed down to just the few that you can hear. I also think there I think there's like something where like there's like a reference to uh a link to the past that didn't get picked up on because it's Triforce of the Gods in Japanese and they just missed it. Although also like there's of course the really big one at the end of Breath of the Wild where uh, they translate Zelda as saying that Ganon has given up on re uh, reincarnation, and that's just not true. It's like the opposite. Like there, there's a lot of stuff like that. Like it's it's strange. You'd think Nintendo by now would have like a really in-depth, like fact-checked, well-documented localization process. GFR J Nolan. Most sentient species in the Federation regard the extinct Harmonious Chozo with the utmost respect as an example of what any civilization drowning in violence should strive to become. But this tower I've scanned, a dedicated weapons factory, certainly puts that view into question. Yet I remain positive. Surely the Chozo resorted to, to this when they discovered the Metroids on SR-388. Any pacifist would after facing those monsters. The climb was certainly worth the view. It's a shame my colleagues aren't alive to see this. SPFC F Mac. The campsite's done for. Blaine as well. We ran for the elevator with a jellyfish Metroid. That oh wait, is this? That's yeah. That's weird. It's the same thing on the bottom. I wonder why. It just keeps going up. I thought I was. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I, I just, I thought I'd go up to, like, get a treat or something, but... Ugh. Yeah, the... I thought going left was progress, but apparently not. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. It, it can free up some space for me. <laughs> Sometimes there's just nothing they can do. Well, there's no circles in here, so I guess there's nothing. Just as I suspected. Nothing. I 
Hell yeah. Not a scratch. Oh, whoa. The massive statue. Atlas, if, if he had a friend. Oh, what's up here? Could be anything. I'll have to, like, spider ball up here and bomb it if I want to find out, I guess. Wow, I'm already down to four Metroids. It's a big ass tower. Oh, is that something I can actually. I can. I can go in here. Hmm, might be a Metroid that way. Nah, no. I haven't gotten a power up in a while. Uh oh. Now what? Zeta Metroid. After a substantial transformation of its body, the Metroid's power and defenses Im greatly improve. Though the Zeta Metroid can no longer fly due to its immense weight, its new legs are strong enough to carry it and perform great bursts of speed. The arms can deliver powerful strikes, and its mouth glands can spray a highly corrosive substance. Its two prior forms were akin to a pupil phase. Discarding the Gamma Metroid's exoskeleton marks the beginning of its adulthood. Okay, no exoskeleton? Does that mean that I can just shoot it now? Yes! Okay, this is taking up a lot of space. I'm locked in here now. These tears of Metroid are painful. Uh-oh. This facility is operating on an emergency power supply. Thermal readings indicate that there is at least one functional device located deep inside the building. Ah! I want to just go up and get it. Give me. Ooh. Now we're back to the darkness, too. Oh, are these the power bombs? Looks like they're the power bombs. Hmm, wow. A lot of closed doors. Oh yeah, I guess I need to activate the power, don't I? Oh, actually, yeah, how do I... I guess I just have to leave. Man, what a tease. Oh, right, I can't get back it out that way. Alright, I gotta do something then.
This area honestly seems like something, but like, I don't know what. Hey! What is this thing? Nothing, I hope. Surely it's nothing. It definitely won't activate when I turn the power on. That would never happen. And everything is built for morph ball technology. <laughs> mm, cool music change. The immense tower houses a weapons and R&D facility. The robots patrolling within it are combat drones equipped with weapon prototypes and advanced shield plating. They possess severe, superior AI and are programmed to fire at any living target, keeping the tower sterilized of organic matter very efficiently. Proceed with caution. Yeah, we got a rave going now. Now, it would be great. Are those sparks hitboxes? All right, well, that's not gonna work. Jesus. Ooh, okay, well, that's a lot of progress lost. <laughs> Alright, do I want to deal with this or the Zeta Metroid first? Note to self, don't enter the tower. <laughs> I haven't gotten, like, a missile upgrade in a while. Or an E-Tank, for that matter. <laughs> this again. Like the first game, they are not scattered in the middle of hallways. Untrue. The, this game gives you uh, missile tanks like they're free. I've had like 150 for most of the game. Because they give it to you so fast and so much. Oh, damn. The floor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could get really bad. Really quick. Yeah, I need to get I needed that gone. <laughs> All right, now let's keep making some trips back to the save point so I don't have to keep doing a bunch of this over and over again. Never play any version of Metroid 2? Well, the original Metroid 2 is really really rough to play. So don't do that version if any. <laughs> This game is really, really, really fun, though. Oh, looks like there's even a way down. E tank. Yeah, you know, you need missiles in this game, so they give you a lot at first. But they've slowed down a lot since then. Yeah, missiles are how you fight Metroids. You you need them. It's not like the other games. Well, you can still use a charge shot, but that will take forever.
I guess it's not even animated yet. It just perfectly stalks still until the boss fight is allowed to begin. Three Metroids left, and one of them's a Zeta. Oh god, wow, okay, whoops. Get the 3DS version, because I'm still bitter about how Ca about Castlevania at the time, but after Dread, I know Mercury Steam can be trusted. So that, I've heard that Dread is why you can trust Mercury Steam, not uh, Return of Samus. What, do, what if I go in here? What then? What happens then? Oh, another Zeta. Okay. Oh god, I can barely see it. It's like almost impossible to see. <laughs> oh god. This might be the time to break out some super missiles for combat reasons. Just, I can't even really see it, so I don't really want to waste them. No, it's is exactly as fast as me now. That's not good. Well, this sucks. It, like it, it jumps at the exact right height to kill you too. Did the did people at Giga Boots like Samus Turds? I thought they didn't like it. Like I feel like I've heard like a lot of negativity about Samus Returns. And this thing's literally just too mobile, and then I can't actually see it. Oh, are you kidding me? The missile went through its legs. Well, that's me. That's all of them super missiles I got. They really like make you rely on the space jump for avoiding stuff sometimes, and I don't think it's quite built for that. Okay, thank god it's over.
Alright, only two Metroids left. I guess literally one more on the tower somewhere, and then that other Zeta Metroid. Mission at the Dread Spoiler Cast. I, mean, I haven't watched Gigaboots in a while. I don't really remember. The Dread Spoiler Cast would have been quite a while ago, though, wouldn't it be? I want to find out what that O is. Got a spider ball over there sometime, but for now. Man, they give you, like, tough environments right off the bat. Oh, those spike things don't even hurt it. Like, the exposed belly is right there. Man, really, the nose going down slightly is enough for it to, to just block the super missiles. Ugh. Now well, that's me for super missiles. Oh my god. It really is just that space jump is not a good tool for dodging. God, uh the jump. I can't really even chalk this up to like the devs being like over familiar or anything like that. God, that's such an annoying little bit of how Metroid games are designed. The like gap between stages where you like lose control of your jump for a split second. But yeah, Metroid games always have, I feel, boss fights that expect you to do something a little bit, like, too much. Oh, what? You can land on those and they fall? Has that been a thing this whole time I could have been doing for some reason? some good shots in. That barrier that just comes out sometimes and just blocks all missiles. It's annoying. Oh, okay, that was easy. That was weird.
All right, now he's got to take on that tower. Luckily, if its power is back on, surely that means there's a save point inside too. God, ah. Ah. The hardest thing in any Metroid game. Okay, what happens if I do this? Hold on. Weird. Oh, actually. Now's a good ch ch time to do this. So, as we slowly make our way along, how's everyone doing today? Oh, I gotta go from above. Okay. Next step, find a way to get above. Finishing work? Nice. Alright. I couldn't find a way to get above. Hey, Jig Jack Joe, how's it going? Lying in bed? Nice. That's a good way to listen to a stream. Taking it easy before heading to work? Nice. Alright, I got one Metroid left and a tower. Apparently, I have 46 gigabytes of junk files? What the heck? Probably check that out. Hold on, that might be that might be a problem for like recording footage. Hold on. No, I'm good. Okay. Nah, that would be too easy. thing under construction a new version of the Wolfo Park? Uh, no. That's a leftover from the o the overlay I had. Um, basically, each of those four colored segments, the whole thing used to be under construction and full of construction tape and stuff. And when I met certain goals, I'd add another segment to it. Um, and I just never finished that middle part. I do ha have ideas for Wolfos Town. I want to make that a thing, but I mentioned on the stream the other night, uh, it just, I was getting too fixated on making that work when I could have been streaming and actually like doing stuff as opposed to like waiting for everything to be perfect and then getting back to it. So I'd like to have it eventually, but it's no longer my priority. You do need things to make your stream distinct from everyone else, so I, I would like to get that going because I think people would enjoy it, but yeah, it was just not wasn't coming together how I, I would like it to. <laughs> this thing's super durable. Thank god it's over. And these sparks are just sparks, they're not hitboxes. You never know with this game. Okay, do I have to check all these nooks and crannies? Yes. Yes, I do. Hmm, weird. Like, this, this doesn't mean much. I can just fly. 
And maybe they're gonna make me sh like fight a Metroid with these or something. That would be kind of tough. Hey, wait a second. This is a remix of Talon 4. I assume you gotta use that electric ball somehow, but I don't know how. Oh wait, does that just break it? Hold on. Wow, okay. Well, <laughs> here I am trying to be all clever. Yeah, no, like... Even, I wouldn't even say it was about making a compromise, it's just literally like, I was in my head, like, I can't start streaming until I have this completely working how I want it to. And then it, it just wasn't coming together like that, so I didn't stream for like two years, and that's just it's kind of dumb. Hmm. I'm just go right underneath these. They didn't account for morph ball technology at all. Hmm. This looks Metroid-ish. Oh no, okay, it's whatever this is. The unit performs 360 degree live fire tests of prototype weapons. Scans indicate the exterior armor is resistant to beam weaponry, while the interior is further protected by an energy field that repels solid projectiles. Auto repair systems in the cannons can mend all damage within seconds. Schematics reveal these systems were applied due to the earlier model's cannons being exposed to exceedingly violent tests. Similar to your power suit, the, the unit's modular design allows for the addition and removal of equipment. There's no dumber barrier than the ones you put there for random reasons. So true. Okay, you're gonna stop. Oh god, get me out of here. Oh, jeez. Oh, switching back to the beam now is going to be kind of hard. Oh, God. <laughs> they got DNA. Well, that... Mm. Oh, and there's no save point. Damn it. Ah, oh, what a pain. Oh, you can lure the missiles back to hit it. Okay. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Come on. Be real. rave room many such cases <laughs> many people are doing this
And then they're gonna have like a Zeta Metroid at the end of this. Afterwards. With no save point. And the boss will have a phase two. So this is the, like the classic style design I really don't have much patience for anymore. I don't see the point in making me do all of this stuff again. Take two. Oh, you can totally hit those still, I think. Oh, we're going right to this, huh? Cool, great, awesome. Ooh, okay, I can blow those up. Perfect, great, nice, I love to see it. Can you get out of the way of all those pickups? They're great. Those are all going to vanish. Huh. Oh, I can destroy those cannons too. Okay. That makes it a lot easier to manage. Hmm. Samus is not built to withstand shmup attacks. Christ. Ugh. Man, I'm getting it though. This game likes to have things that make it easier than you realize. Like how with Torizo, I could destroy a lot of its projectiles to get health and missiles back. Hitbox is a little too small. Well, that's just Metroid. That's what Metroid's all about. It wouldn't be Metroid if the, if the hitbox was the right size. <laughs> Like, so many times, like, even playing Zero Mission before, I'd be like, man, I guess you just can't hit this. And then it's like, no, you just have to be much more precise.
The spirit of Metroid is a little bit of cruelty as a treat. Am I trying to hit? Uh, most stuff. Like, I, I want to get the, uh, I want to destroy its barriers, I want to destroy its cannons. I want to hit the core with the missiles. Try to hit many things, Metroid. That's so true. That's so real. All right. Oh, I have way less health than last time. That sucks. See, I'm trying to rush now, so I'm making stupid mistakes. Jeez. I feel like the real fight is going to begin once I get rid of all these barriers. <laughs> Oh god, I'm inside it. No, I don't want that. I'm just gonna keep getting hit then. Yeah, there we go. No, maybe not. Maybe this is it. Maybe the game's gonna be a little bit nice to me. As a treat. God, Jesus. <sighs> Man. the core with missiles. Yeah, I'm trying to lure the homing missiles in. Ah, 
man. I should like just shine spark down, honestly. <laughs> And yeah, I'm trying to use the missiles to destroy, like, the guns that are shooting at me to make the patterns less insane. Okay. I'd probably give myself a much better fighting chance if I actually try and learn that pattern for the lightning things. It's, it's like, they're not synced, so I don't know if I can really get the timing right, but I can try. Oh, Majora FX, thanks for following. No, no, don't get hit. All right, already down a health bar. Oh. I should do this. That's way smarter. Instead of trying to time it, I don't know why I was doing it that way. Alright, I'll have more health next time at least, I hope. I attacked almost a freebie. <laughs> Okay, I can deal with those pretty easily, actually. Yeah! Alright, at least I'm at full health. So when they jump scare me with the Zeta Metroid, not gonna be too bad. 
Damn it! The, the knockback into the door has gotten me so many times, actually. <laughs> also, I called it the Metaroid. I haven't called it that in a long time. These things are really annoying. Like, they actually try and dodge you. Where'd it go? Hmm, this is probably a massive waste of missiles. <laughs> Maybe. Who can say? The jury's still out on this one. And these are annoying as fuck. Thank you. Plasma beam, oh! I was expecting power bombs! The Metaroids, my favorite season of Sonic X, so true, so real. Okay, pl plasma beam. Please make everything easy now. Wait. What about the Metroid? Where's the Metroid? <laughs> and I have the plasma beam. Surely that'll make it so that Metroids just go down super easily. Plasma Beam looks different from how you remember? God, this is so annoying! <laughs> what do you remember it looking like? Red? Usually isn't just a blue wide beam? Maybe it's because it's mixed with the spacer for the time being, and it'll look different when I get more upgrades. Hmm, can't get through that. Can get through this. Oh, here's the save point. Jeez, okay. Wait, have I been here before? Maps filled. Oh, I'm outside. Okay, where's the Metroid? Oh, right here. I don't know how I missed that. This seems like the one you were meant to do first, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I got map completion at least. God, when it lowers its head slightly, that's so annoying how it blocks missiles.
Man, that barrier thing, like, that's that's reading my inputs. <laughs> Almost feels like what I should be doing is sending out some regular missiles and then the super missile after the barrier. At least this is like a nice normal area. It's not, there's no darkness, there's no spikes. It's just normal. I say that as I get my ass thoroughly kicked. Come on. It's, ah, it's like, that was so many hits. What more do they want from me? Hmm, what is that area to the left? Is that just the power station or just didn't go far enough left? Also, how do I get up so I can get to that energy tank? Because I want that energy tank. somehow missed the wave beam? My sequence broke. Wow. This Metroid stuff is easy. Damn, three super missiles. That's really good for me. Ah, how did it go under it? How does that happen? I like the detail that uh, it can knock you back the same way the, uh, the... Is it the Metroid Queen in Super Metroid does? I like that detail. Thank goodness. Mm, another earthquake. All right, so if I were a wave beam, where would I be? There's a path up. No, that's the, that's the power bomb thing. Whoops, this is just a Metroid den. Alright, now if I were to get that E-Tank, what would I want to do? I'm gonna have to ponder this. Because in the meantime, I'm gonna take a quick break. <laughs> 